men's 1500. This is a good race. Jakobinga Britson, Yara Nagus, Oliver Hoare, Mario Garcia. A lot of talent here. Charles Samatwa, he's run 330. PRs are quick. I think you just want, and very, a lot of these guys haven't really run. And if they have, they've been off distance. So Nagus and Jakob was the story indoors. They didn't run against each other, but they ran dueling fast times. And now we're going to get to see them head to head. I think Inga Britson is the favorite. Obviously, should be the favorite. But I want to see how much of indoor Nagus are we going to see outdoors. That's what I want to know. I think Nagus isn't going to be as good as we think he's going to be. I think first, it's, uh, it's not. It's he like, ran an eight. But he ran that. This is his first race overseas, though, right? No, he ran the. You mean ever or no, like outdoors? Outdoors. Yeah, he ran the eight in the U.S. But during indoors, he ran. The, so I'm the just Madrid saying, like, 1500. the what? Yeah, no, I, I know, I know. I'm talking about outdoors. Outdoors, he's only run an 800 in, at Mount Sac. I just feel like he's more likely to give us a That's dud it. on this first one and then give us a, a better one on the on the number two race that if he runs another Diamond League a week later. That's yep. what I'm thinking. He ran three races indoors. He's run one race outdoors. Yeah. That's it. So yeah. I just feel like he's. <clears throat> He's not going to be the true form of the way we saw Nagus at, uh, like, Milrose type Nagus. So. But that was early season, too. Yeah. Early indoor season. I don't know. I just feel like Nagus isn't going to be as good as we think he's going to be. I think he needs to have a couple more races in him before he truly can challenge Jakob. But Jakob's 1,500 debut, too. Yeah, but Jakob is so much better and, like, it's really hard to be off of, for Yaka to be off his game. Like, there's got to be a plague for him to be off he his game. He was sick that one time. Remember? Exactly. A plague. Yeah. He, he always seems dialed in. He's dialed in. Yeah. He's, he's never off. He's, he's always on. Okay. So, I think Yaka wins this cakewalk. What about, what about Hor? You think Hor could factor in? I mean, he's been running well. He'll, he'll be in it, but no. It's going to be cakewalk Yaka. Okay. Yaka will win by two seconds. Two seconds? Or one under. second. I'll take the under on that. 1.5 seconds. Women's 200. Shreya Jackson. She's the, the headliner. Um, Tamar Davis just had a good 100-meter win for the U.S. But Jackson versus the clock here. What do you think? I don't know. 200? Yeah, it's probably going to be like a 22 I feel like all these... Top 200. Is everybody going to run 22 They're all this year? Run it's the year of the 22 L. No one's going to run anything fast. So she ran. I thought she ran 200 this weekend, but it's not showing up on the the results. 100 in Doha, the 1085, but now she's getting back to her. 22 L. 2202. 2202. 2202. Very specific. Yep. That's what she's going to run. Uh, let's see. Men's quarter. Let's just go. Gardner again. He ran well. He got the win in Ber Bermuda. He just looks so, I forgot how effortless he looks. Last hundred, everybody's just tying up, doing 400 meter face. And he's just, I mean, he's tired. What's 400 meter face? Like, you know, like that. <laughs> like, or like you're trying so hard to stay calm, but you, we can tell. Like you feel like you're running into like a plus 10 headwind. Yeah. We can tell that it's not easy for you, but Gardner, just the way his stride is and how he just stays so composed. I was impressed. 